let's now think about some nets and cubes. So what is a net? Well, it's the shape that a cube or any other 3D shape makes when you flatten it out. So up here we have a net and here we have a cube. So in other words, a net is the 2D shape you get when you've unfolded the faces of a 3D shape and then laid them out flat. So the opposite of what this process is showing. So if you're going that way, you start with a cube, you peel it open, and then you end up with a net. Another key piece of terminology is a face, not this face, but the face of a 3D shape. So a cube has six faces. You can only see three of them here, but that's a face. In nets and cubes questions, you will be asked to identify the cubes that either could or could not have been made from folding a given net. So here is an example. We have our crucifix or cross-shaped net on the left, and then we've got some cubes over here. And what we have to do is figure out which of these cubes could be made from the net. And to figure that out, we can use three key rules. Let's start off with this one, the dud rule. So a dud cube is one that shows shapes or colors that are not present on the net. So here, this one is wrong. There's no star on our net. So we know that we can rule it out. And in this example over here, the net doesn't contain any blue faces. So we can instantly rule out this cube. These guys are dud cubes. Our next rule is the opposites rule. So some cubes can't be made from a given net because their faces break the opposites rule. So this is when faces that should be opposite each other are shown next to each other in a cube. So in this example here, the turquoise face should be opposite each other rather than next to. And then same for the stars, these stars should be opposite each other rather than next to each other. Let's have a look at which faces are opposites. So there are three pairs of opposite faces on every net. So in this net over here, we very helpfully labeled the faces which make up an opposite pair. So one and one will always be opposite each other in a cube. So we're two and two, so we're three and three. This means that when the net is folded up, we would never see those faces in an opposite pair at the same time. We would see one, two, and three, but we would never see two twos at the same time. Our third and final rule is the orientation rule. So some cubes can't be made from our net because they show shapes in the wrong orientation. So this is when a shape is pointing the wrong way. In the net, the arrow is pointing at the long side of the rectangle. So the little yellow arrowhead is pointing towards the rectangle. However, over here, the triangle slash arrowhead is pointing at the short side of the rectangle. That's why we know that this cube here violates the orientation rule and it can't be made from our net. When we are doing nets and cubes questions and we're thinking about the orientation rule, these are some key shapes to look out for. So arrows, you can look which way they're pointing towards. Triangles, again, you can figure out which way they're pointing using the point. Lines, arrowheads, and then also stripey patterns, which are kind of lines, but embedded within a shape. So arrows, triangles, lines, arrowheads, and striped patterns. Look out for those. Going back now to the very first example question we saw, let's apply the rules we've just learned. So we know that we can rule out A instantly because it violates the dud rule. If we look at our net, there's no green triangle, so our answer cannot be A. Then if we look at B, we know that B is incorrect because there should be at least one green shape on the cube. There's no way of folding up the net so that there is no green shape available. Then if we look at C, uh, we can see that it violates the opposites rule. So over on our net, the yellow square and the yellow circle should be opposite each other 
therefore they can't be seen at the same time on a cube. Finally, the orientation rule is not really applicable because the shapes that we have are squares and circles. We don't need to think about the orientation rule. We've already used the others to get rid of the incorrect answer options. And that leaves us with, if I duck out of the way, D, our correct answer. Now that we know the theory and the rules that we need to apply, let's practice using some questions. We have our very first question on nucleus. Which cube can be made from this net? Here are our results. Most popular answer was E. Let's take a look. And that is absolutely right. Well done. So starting off with A. A is a dud cube. So it has a diagonal rectangle you think, which is not found on the net. D is also a dud cube. It's got two circles instead of just the one. B and C break the opposites rule. So the black stripe and unshaded circle are next to each other on these cubes, whereas in the net, they should be opposite each other. So they shouldn't be shown at the same time. This leaves us with E, our correct answer. Ooh, look at this jazzy question. Careful now, make sure you read the question properly. It says, which of these cubes cannot be made from the following net? So it cannot be made. And here are our results. The most popular answer was D by a country mile. Let's have a look. And that is absolutely right. How do we know? It violates the opposites rule. So if we look at our net here and look at where the yellow faces are, they are opposite each other. So they would never appear in the same cube. Which cube cannot be made from this net? So it cannot. Here are our results. So we have 50% of the vote going for D. Let's have a look. Okay, well done to those of you who went for D because this is the one cube that cannot be made from this net. And the rule that is being violated is the opposites rule. So if we look at our net, the circle within a circle shape, which is in the sort of middle of the cross, should be opposite the cross when the net's folded up. So D is impossible because the circle within a circle and the cross should not be next to each other. Today we looked at cross-shaped nets of a cube, so anything that was sort of T-shaped, and then we looked at these three rules, we looked at the opposite rule, which is represented by this image here. Uh, we also looked at the dud rule, so when faces on the cube do not appear in the net, and we also looked at the orientation rule. So thinking about the way triangles, arrows, and lines are facing. Those are our three rules to look out for with nets of a cube.